I guess it all started when we decided to get some food after attending a disco inferno dance at our local high school. It was a couple weeks before graduation. We were full of hopes, ambitions, and hunger. Chris. Anyway, uh, we decided to get some curb service. Uh, so we got a couple cheeseburgers, a couple uh, lemon freezes. They were out of orange. And uh, after a while, uh, we started looking for our waitress. And uh, we couldn't find her. Um, so uh, we were waiting around a while. And uh, well, uh, there wasn't much to do while we were waiting. So uh, we, uh, we started to have our fun, as uh, people do from time to time. Maybe you've heard about it. Nobody wanted that check to come more than me. Uh, as I recall, you were a willing participant in it as well. Except that you forgot something that night. Well, I, I left it in the gym, but I, can I help it if every drugstore in town is closed after 11 o'clock? You said Just something you'd get about out a temperature in time. being okay. Anyway, the next thing we know, the place is closed. So we decided to crash here for the night. That night, I had a dream. Something was wrong. Nobody was getting curb service. So we didn't even see any car hops. I'm thinking, is there a strike or what? was a report that it was an end of an era, that Steak and Shake had discontinued curb service. So I'm thinking, hey, what about us? After a while, I realized we were going to be in for a long haul. Soon afterwards, she started getting sick a lot. After a while, it was evident that she was pregnant. Nine months later, our child was born, without any help from him, I might add. Well, I must admit, I do get a bit queasy at things medical. We lived like scavengers and outlaws. We would retrieve leftovers each night for food. I would go to the nearby cleaners whenever our clothes got unbearable. The money ran out real fast, and it was a great temptation to use the money in the tray. But I knew if we did, then we'd really be stuck. never learned to read or write. We thought we'd be out of here before it was time for him to go to school. He does know a few phrases like, If say it must be right. Well, uh, the food here really gives me the runs, which is not very convenient in a place like this, let me tell you. The boredom is an element which is there a lot. But we do have our tender moments. I've tried calling the American Embassy and they said, we can't help you. You're already in America. There was a congressman who wrote that he would look into the matter, but he was forced to leave his office in scandal before he could help us. Well, I feel that uh, we've been here for so long, uh, we're just going to play this thing out. We're here for the duration. Sometimes we look at the dining room, and I could swear that a waitress is staring right at us. Sometimes we wave, turn on the emergency lights. Once we used a flare. Nothing. It's like we're invisible. Tell you this much, 
Whoever finally picks this up ain't getting a tip. That's for damn sure. <laughs> this changes a few things uh, she left and took speedy with her we'd been arguing as usual but uh, I don't know I'd really have to think about things I mean I think I could leave but uh, I still got to think about it for maybe a week maybe longer I mean I've been reading the papers and I am just completely convinced that everybody out there is nutsoid. I mean, it's a big city out there, and I'd, I'd have to get a job, and it's too late to go to college. I don't have any job skills. Uh, it's big out there. I'd have to get my own apartment. Uh, I don't think the resale value on this thing is going to be too hot. Uh, it's just a bunch of decisions that I got away. And uh, the weight is full now, but um, I am considering some things. I'm thinking it over. I mean, I'm thinking real hard. I'm thinking real hard about this. I'm going to take a long, long thought about it.